This has got to be the windiest ground in the league. Welcome to the field. Out on. Hello and welcome to Kellaway Park, where today Mals will play their first local league match in over two seasons against Helson Athletic. But the main concern today will be injuries and how we deal with that. How are you, Max? Very well. Looking forward to, uh, to the game this afternoon. Uh, I think it's going to be a good battle. Obviously, the conditions are perfect. Pitch looks good. So, uh, local derbies, you can't beat them. How's the hammy? Hamstring's seen better days, Kev. Um, <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll see Beth now, see how the assessment goes and take it from there. Fletch, it's been two days since our two most important players got injured. How are we adapting to that? Yeah, I think, obviously you say two most important players. I think they're, they're very important players, it's obvious to see. Um, I think all of our players have their own roles and importance. Obviously you look at either side of what we've got, top scorer from last year come off injured only available centre half come off injured so I can see why you say that and obviously it's a blow to anyone um, it couldn't have come at worse timing um, we're just going to have to patch everyone up today and hope for the best to be honest also a good chance to get some new faces some game time today yeah I think we have to use this as today as a learning curve see what you know obviously we're going into it still confident that we can gain something from the game um, preparations aren't ideal but there's always some, a benefit to someone else. You know, we've got three young development players on the bench today that will get a chance. Really good for them to experience playing in a game like this. And we get to see a few of our new signings under a bit of different pressure. I think it'll be a slightly different game to usual today. So, listen, it, it's not ideal, but, you know, one door closes, one door opens. You never know what's going to come from football. So, we'll see. See what happens. Cheers, mate. No worries. It's half time here and it's a 45 to forget for the Seagulls. There's been a lot of players playing out of positions to make up for injuries and there's a lot of work for Jake Ash is meant to do in the second 45 if they're to turn this around. It's all finished here in the derby and the final score was Helston 4, Mausel 2. A late effort in the second half from Mausel. Goals from Simo and Goldie were not enough to take anything from this game and there's now two weeks for them to recover and regroup. Goldie, disappointing result in the end. Can I have your thoughts on it? Frustrated. Um, first yeah. half I thought, I thought we were really poor. Did everything we were told not to do. Um, and at 2-0 we still know we can, we can tweak things and we can come back from, from certain score lines. 
Um, we started the second half really well, got back into it, and then uh, another disaster class uh, goal to concede. Um, I mean, all four of them were. Um, you know, we know where we are. The bodies and stuff have been so unfortunate with injuries. It's no excuse, but you could see we were we were threadbare today. Um, obviously, Saturday took everything out of a lot of us. Um, but credit to Elston, they knew our weakness. They played on it and they played on it very well. Um, the set pieces were were causing chaos. We, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't, we just could not handle them. Um, but the reaction second half, I thought, was really good. And if we didn't concede that third one. Um, we're, we're on top. We are. We're back in the game, and, and everything's feeling all right on the pitch. You think, okay, we're all right, and then that's a sucker punch, um, and then it's another set piece again for the four. But but the second half is positive, you know. So we have to take positives where we are. We know where we are as a squad. It's not big enough def defensively. Um, so the second half was a real positive when it could have gone even worse. So yeah. You mentioned those injuries. Do you feel that that was a major factor today? Oh God, yeah. I mean. It, we've been so fortunate ever since I've been here with injuries. I think I've been the only one that's been injured. Um, but now we've had massive players injured pre-season. Um, and, and then obviously Saturday losing Max and Hades, arguably two of our biggest players. So you're missing five, five dead cert starters. So it's going to take a toll on any squad. Um, but the, the start we've had with, with those missing has been brilliant. If, if you ask me, after four games, you'd have nine points. Be near in the mix at the top. I'd, I'll be pretty happy considering where we are with our numbers and injuries. Cheers, God. Jake, first loss of the season. What do you feel didn't click for us today? Um, first half we weren't very good, um, but I thought second half we were we were we were brilliant. We set the task for the boys the second half to go and win the win the second half, and I feel like we should have. Um, so no, I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. Uh, people look at that and say, how stupid, but I'm really proud of the boys. I thought, the young lads are come on, Jacob, Kevin, prime Bobby Moore out there. He was unbelievable. Um, Ibo again, like, does things just neat and tidy. Um, you know, Hansi used to come in and helped us out. I mean, he's not a young lad anymore, but, you know, he did, he did really well. Hayden's come on. Hayden Black, you know, another 18-year-old. So I'm really proud of them. I'm really chuffed. I thought second half we were a real lively threat going forward. No, there's a vulnerability there uh, defensively because of where we're at with bodies. But I, yeah, I was disappointed the first half, but really liked the second half. And I go away. We knew what this weekend would bring us, and I think if someone had offered us three points from the two games, we'd have absolutely snap an hand off. Probably not strong enough. We'd have, um, I don't know, we'd have done something probably illegal. To, to take it so we will take the three points and we will take the 12 days rest um, and, and then yeah I'm sure we'll look really different in 12 days time in terms of the bodies and stuff so we look forward to that. Those names you say have come in because of injuries do you feel that injuries was the major factor? No I'm not gonna of course of course you know look at their bench the players they had to bring on today you know fantastic you know what a, what a group and we aren't in a position to do that so it's always going to make things difficult. They, they've had a tough trip Saturday, though, and you know they do what they do so well. You know, um, so I, I'm reticent to blame it on injuries. Of course, it makes a difference. I mean, if you pick five players you want to take out of a team, I mean, you're not going to pick those five. But I'm not going to use it as an excuse. I'm not going to blame it on it. It's tough. It's difficult. The message to the boys beforehand was it's a free hit. Don't feel sorry for yourselves. And I just felt like first half we didn't really go and have a free hit. We were a bit. We were just a bit. Um, we let the game sort of drift away from us and there wasn't enough bite and energy. But I thought second half there really was, so I'm really pleased with that. You mentioned the 12 days. What are you going to do in those 12 days to regroup? 12, we're going to put everyone in like a cryo chamber. Um, none of them allowed to cross the road. Um, no football at all. We're going to play tiddlywinks for a couple of weeks. And um, yeah, we'll see what we've got at the end of it. Um, no, we'll, we'll, it'll give us a chance, obviously, now to train Thursday non-contact and then Saturday it'll be a rest day you know we thought about training but it just has to be a rest day at the minute and then we've got a whole week then to to, to make sure we get the the balance right like so we just got to be really careful we have got to be careful because we can't pick up any more um, and, and the, the annoyance probably other than Max is the annoyance is you know two of them are from bad tackles one's from you know someone running into a post you know Cows is a bit of a freak one so you know that you feel you, you do just naturally look at them and go, you know, how's your how's your luck? But we've got 
we've got 12 days, get some get some players in um, and get the boys, you know, there's a couple that will be in and around being available to us and it will be a huge boost. Um, so, now we're really, really grateful for no game. I've had a few messages off a few managers asking to play us next Saturday. I said there's absolutely no chance that's happening unless you want to play five sides. So, um, yeah, we'll take the rest. Full credit to Helston today. Thought were outstanding, really good crowd, pitch as best it's ever been. Um, thought they were excellent, really good side. They'll do really, really well. You know, they've obviously got off to a great start. Good team, good manager. Um, you know, you know, place like I say is looking fantastic. So, well done to them. Um, outstanding, really, really impressed. Um, yeah, and we'll um, we'll take the take the break and hopefully be in a in a stronger position in 12 days' time. Thanks, Jake. Thank you.